So here's the story of how the outlaw wheel actually began. Back in 2013, I got an email phone call from Brad and Matt at 1552. They'd seen the Urban Outlaw film and uh, they were looking to collaborate on a wheel project, basically a reinterpretation of the classic Fuchs wheel. So let's go back in time and we will see how this journey went from a CAD illustration to an actual round wheel that ended up on my 76 turbo and basically was the birth of the 1552 outlaw wheel so here it is the inspiration for the first set of outlaw wheels back in 2014 matt brad and myself basically were inspired by the original fuchs wheel which debuted in 67 on the 911s in a 15 by four and a half inch format so essentially we took that iconic shape reinterpreted the profile and hollowed out the centers. This was the very first center we ever made out of a piece of billet aluminum that was CNC'd. This is the very first wheel that was ever made, which is a 15 by seven, two piece welded up. And this is the very first set of outlaw wheels that ended up on my 76 930 all the way back in April of 2014. So here's the very first set on the 76 turbo. These were eights and nines. Actually, 15 by 9 on the rear with a 245-50-15 Hoosier and a 225-50 Hoosier on the 15 by 8 on the front. So the second set of wheels we ever made were 15 by 7s and 8s. They're right here. They went on car 277. My 75 Turbo is running a set of 15 by 8s and 10s, powder coated black. And then perhaps one of the coolest sets we ever did these right here on my 67S. These are 15 by deep sevens. And this is a polished lip, bead blasted um, hoop, and then a two-tone paint powder coat center. We also played around with doing a convex version, which as you can see has got a slightly different profile. That's a 15 by seven on my 67S. We also did them in a 16 inch, which you see here on my 924 Carrera GT, and a 17 inch set that you see here on my 964. And of course, we didn't want to leave the bug guys out, so we also did a four lug, four bolt pattern for the 914 guys and the Beetle guys, which I think turned out really pretty well. So over time, the original 15 inch wheel design ended up going to 16, 17 and 18 inch in a two piece weld up and a three piece bolt pattern. And then we also introduced a 19 and 20 inch monoblock version, basically to satisfy newer Porsche owners who would have 997s and 991s. So they would buy them in the 19 and 20 inch monoblock platform program. So here's a rendering of the three-piece bolt-up wheel program. So as you can see at this point, we decided to make a few more sets of wheels and got some sticky black rubber mounted on those rims. Then we decided to actually mount wheels and tires on different cars. So the third set was all black. They went on my black 76 930. Those were eights and nines. And then we also took the original pair, put them on my silver 76 930 turbo, and then somehow managed to shoehorn those 15 by 8s and 9s under the arches of my 78 SCHR before returning them to the original Minerva Blue 76. Around this time, we started doing some promo photo shoots and decided, hey, it would be great to make a video documenting the outlaw wheel process. So I called my buddy up, Robert Angelo. We went for a drive and made a short film, which we actually debuted at the Red Bull headquarters in Santa Monica in June of 2014. So let's take a look at the behind the scenes of the making of the wheel part of the video. 
from that first opportunity with Brad and Matt at 1552 when they came to me and said, hey, let's make some wheels together. I'd never really thought about making my own wheels. So I think it was an opportunity to really come up with something that was visually appealing and intriguing. Couldn't wait to actually see the final first wheel manufactured and that whole process to me was really pretty exciting to see it machined out of a billet piece of aluminum. This is 6061 okay. uh, T6, which is heat treated. Okay. So basically the center forging here is of course started blank, lathed, CNC'd to get the exact look that we want, welded into place, and then the finishing starts. There's nothing other than wheels right. that can change something so radically, so instantly. And as a designer, it's, you always want people to look at something and know what it is, but they don't exactly know what's different about it. One of the things I loved about you guys was the willingness to work with me. I also love the fact that the wheel is made here in LA within 40 miles from where we're standing. And I think that's important. It was a great moment to actually be able to hold the wheel, turn it upside down, to actually look through the wheel. And then the next exciting moment was we all went down a wheel enhancement and actually had the tie up mounted to the wheel. And that really transformed the, uh, the look of the wheel. I mean, the, the wheel did look pretty epic on its own, but when the Uja was mounted to it, just seeing that tire being stretched around the rim and around the bead, and then, you know, seeing the actual wheel shod with the uh, Uja tire, that was just truly a memorable moment. And dealing with you was actually very easy because you know what you like and what you don't like. I think we all share the same passion that we created something that's really pretty cool, pretty special, and pretty unique. It's exhilarating just to, to see this it's come so to nice. life and let's put them on the car. Let's, yeah. let's go drive. So over the next few years, we kept on rolling and building momentum. People seemed to really dig the wheels and we started to sell some sets. But unfortunately, by the beginning of 2020, things had changed at 1552 and the Outlaw Wheel program was cancelled. So I want to give a big thanks to Matt and Brad for the vision, to Robert Angelo for the video, and to all you guys for the continued support. Let's see what happens next.